Okay, this video is a bit of an update on how my training has been going and my road to my next race, which is gonna be the PTO US Open in Dallas. of my win at the World Long Distance Championships, I have felt really confident, really motivated. That race went better than I imagined. I love that distance of racing. So when I was given the opportunity to go and race in Dallas, I was 100% sure I wanted to be on that start line. I've been watching the PTO Tour develop this year. I've seen the level of female performance rise and I definitely want to be a part of that. Pretty much after the race in Slovakia, we flew straight back to Lanzarote. We factored in a couple of days rest just to kind of see how the body was reacting to having done a race again. It's been a long time since I've raced. We wanted to just see how the body pulled up from that. The body pulled up really well. I had a call with my coach, Dan, and we basically set the plan for the next couple of weeks here. We've been able to pretty much get straight back into training, which has been really good. We've been able to see almost some progression already from the race stimulus, I think. Having not raced for 11 months, my body was like, wow, what was this? So I feel like I've had a jump in fitness just from going and doing the race. And we've been able to see some great stuff so far training here at Club La Santa, where I always just feel like training here allows my fitness to go up super quick. So been really really happy training here we've got a few more days left a few more days of hard work before we head back home and then we fly out to the US now you might go for the one that matches my outfit oh yeah summer edition So I guess we haven't had any real specific goals in training, it's just been in terms of really just continuing to build up that fitness, bringing in some more intensity on the run just to see how the body responds to it and ultimately it's been responding really well. We've done some key 
track work, which we was able to do a few sessions like that before we led into Slovakia, but we've been able to do a few more since we've been back and the body has coped really well with that. Off the back of that, we've started to bring in a couple of brick sessions, not many, but just again, seeing how the body runs off the bike. We saw that it ran really well off the bike in Slovakia, so we just wanted to keep doing that a couple of times in training, but ultimately we've just been building up the volume, I've been swimming really well, which has been great. I feel like that's going to be very important for the shorter races, capitalising on that 2K swim distance. As the short course girls come in, the swim speed comes up. So I want to make sure that I'm still dominating the swim from the front. And I do feel confident with how my swim has been going here that that should still happen. We might need another towel. Yeah, well, you sweated your way home. Had a five hour turbo, the same session that was in our one of our last videos. Um, did it again, but just up the watts a bit um, and felt really good actually. We had a few slight issues with power meters reading quite low in the first two hours, so then we swapped out and the lactate and everything was more in line so I actually worked way harder for the first two hours than I probably should have done but then we pulled it back and it actually felt really good and then today I did an 8k brick run off of that um, which last time I definitely couldn't have done I was like spent and absolutely done for the day but I felt really good on that 8k run um, we practice nutrition again which I'm really happy with this is definitely the most happy I've ever been with my nutrition strategy working and um, just the energy levels feeling super constant and my stomach feeling really good as well which is the main thing um, yeah so really happy with that session big one in the bank and it was really hot again super humid here at the moment which is quite unusual for Lanzarote it's normally a dry heat but it's been really humid so Good prep, um, yeah, just really happy with that. Good day in the bank. I think in terms of the course, there's not really a course that doesn't suit me as such. I feel like I'm a strong athlete, so any course I'm given, I feel confident that I can perform well on. It should be a non-wetsuit swim, which again will suit me. The bike, I think, is gonna be fairly flat and fast. It will have quite a few U-turns in it, so probably need to practice that over the next few days so we don't repeat Slovakia. And then the run course I haven't actually looked at, but I think the main element of that is just going to be trying not to overheat. I'm looking forward to it. I like those glasses. These are... I actually raced Abu Dhabi in these ones. Yeah, and I think they'll go really good with my Dallas kit and the yeah. theme. I also love the colour of these ASIC shorts. Yeah, this hat I'm probably going to wear in Dallas as well, but we're currently working with Omnius Tech to try and make the cooling technology with it. So four of these have been shipped to them to work with. So hopefully it will work. That's why I'm wearing it backwards today to just see how it feels because the Omnius Tech will go there. So Sunday is run day. We are planning on running roughly 30k, I think it will be. And we've picked the heat of the day, which is when we usually run. Just to get used to the heat, Dallas is going to be super hot, so makes sense to do it in the heat. It's hot. It is hot. Are you ready? There it is. What way around are we going? Left? Left. Okay. Right. See you out there. Here goes. In the desert. the main 
main elements of Dallas is that it is going to be super hot, which I feel lucky that actually here in Lanzarote it's been incredibly hot training here and actually far more humid than normal. So that's been allowing me to get used to that heat. We've been doing some of our key run and bike workouts in the main heat of the day just to get the body used to that. So I think that should hopefully pay off in Dallas. So we tend to do lactate on my bike and run sessions. We have done a small amount on the swim before, but we're basically just trying to monitor where my threshold is so that then you can set a realistic target of what you can actually do in a race. So how long's your warm up? 10 minutes. Are oh, you pretty much going straight in then? So I'm going to do lactate at half, halfway of each. Do you 6% incline and during the recovery go back to one? If possible, take lactate after every interval, target 2.5, 3.5. Okay. So we aim for two and a half on the first rep, and then build to three and a half by the last rep. You don't need a wee all day, and then you get on the treadmill, and then you need a wee seven times. Low. It looked really too low. A bit harder. Yeah, probably go to 14. On Speed. This. Yeah. I'm also an athlete who doesn't believe in being held back when I'm racing, particularly over the 100k distance where I feel like it is short enough to 
push it maybe a bit more than you should and be able to hang on. Certainly as a Ironman distance athlete, I feel like I have the capacity to race really hard over that distance and be fairly confident I'm not going to blow up. We're just looking at how that threshold is progressing. So over the weeks, looking at how much faster I'm able to run for a given lactate, am I in that threshold range? And we've already, over the last couple of weeks, seen I've been able to push that pace up and the lactate still stay within the threshold range. So. Yeah, it's been really good to see. We've also done it on the bike, but for the same reasons, just trying to look at where my power threshold is rather than kind of just guessing it. The lactate gives you a very good answer of where you're at and it doesn't lie. So yeah, that's been really good to see as well. I'd be lying if I said I went to any race not wanting to win. That's just who I am. I probably before, if this was my first race back, would have said you know what I'm going there to see how I stack up against these girls but off the back of my performance in Slovakia I am going there to see if I can step up another level from that race and if I can do that I feel I'll definitely be at the pointy end of the race me knowing who I am I want to go there and get the win. So if you watched our previous video, we did a giveaway with Ceramic Speed and the winner of the oversized pulley wheel aero is Lawrence Bird. So we will be in touch with you, Lawrence. Congratulations and stay tuned for more competitions. You may have seen that we actually got quite a lot of spam comments on our previous video. We will never ever ask anyone for money or bank details. So please be aware that spammers are trying to hack competitions and we will only ever announce our winners in our next videos. So just make sure to watch the next video to find out who wins our competitions. So thanks for watching this video of a little training update. I am really excited to head out to Dallas and continue my season that I honestly didn't think I was gonna get. So every race this year just feels like a huge bonus for me. As always, make sure to stay tuned for more video updates and find out what I'm doing after Dallas. So make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. That's how some people edit.